Hello, welcome to Elite Cycling Fitness. Thanks very much for joining us. And we wanted to tell you how to build strength and speed from interval training. This is a further addition from earlier videos you may have seen on this and just bringing you up to date information. We're talking about road training and exercise bike fitness for speed and endurance training programs. This video focuses on the road training. Why should you listen to us? Well, we've got experience from elite international racing, coaching, different types of track successes, understand nutrition, what it means in a cycling lifestyle, all about health and the motivation that you need to be successful. We believe in keeping a consistent improvement, 10 to 20% uplifts in distance and time in your training, resting every third day or fourth week, road training, yoga, using indoor cross training and using a home exercise bike for aerobic and for intervals and for warming down. And it's all about building your functional power threshold with long rides for aerobic and power, short intervals, sprints, jumping out of corners, and then combining that with yoga and cross training. So let's talk about building strength and speed from interval training. Many fitness factors let you do well at endurance events. You need a high threshold power, good recovery ability, aerobic endurance, muscular endurance, core strength, and an upper body muscular endurance. So let's understand what the interval training part of this is. We're talking about targeting maximum fat loss through high intensity interval training. This is a popular form of exercise, combines two of the most effective fat burning methods. High intensity training gives you the maximum effort to achieve muscle fatigue and maximum oxygen use in a quick burst of exercise. The harder they work, the more oxygen your muscles require. It gets you to your VO2 max to exercise your heart so that the highest amount of oxygen is consumed by your body during exercise. And then working your body close to the VO2 max triggers that afterburn effect. And that can continue some hours afterwards. Your body continues to burn calories for up to 48 hours after you work out. And it takes approximately five calories to consume one liter of oxygen. So alternating methods of intense effort with uh, periods of moderate to low effort gives you the interval training benefit. You need a 20 minute workout of alternating high and low intensity period burns and that burns more calories than a 20 minute workout of steady intensity. Interval training boosts your metabolism significantly longer than a steady workout and interval training builds lean muscle tissue rather than steady state training which will do it um, a lot slower. If you combine the two principles, exercises can maximize fat burning and muscle building potential through significantly shorter workouts. High intensity interval training then increases your metabolic rate, optimizes your muscle building and increases a calorie burn. What's the science behind interval training? Well, it's all about the maximizing both your aerobic and anaerobic fitness, while cardio really just addresses aerobic only. Aerobic respiration requires O2 to generate energy, but anaerobic respiration does not require O2. High intensive interval training affects muscle tissue at any cellular level, actually changing mitochondrial activity in the muscles themselves. And studies show 27 minutes of high intensity interval training three times a week can produce the same anaerobic and aerobic improvement as 60 minutes of cardio five times a week. Yeah, let's repeat that. 27 minutes three times a week of high intensity interval training gives you the same improvement as 60 minutes of cardio five times a week. So very efficient form of training. And if you want to do just a very small method, you can do a three minute warm up, 60 seconds fast cycling at maximum resistance, 75 seconds slow cycling at low resistance, and repeat that for 12 different cycles. That's best for intermediate level. So we want to talk to you now about the road interval training that we found very successful in maximizing fitness and road sprinting power. Before we do that, just let's share with you this exclusive road bike deal for this Moser bike. You can get straight to it on this link if you want to, dld.bz forward slash Moser bike. Uh, it's a beautiful machine and it is available right now with 29% off. That's nearly 200 pounds off from Wiggle on this link for 499, dld.bz forward slash Moser bike. But let's focus now on the road interval training. What you need to do is find a circuit of about 40, 40 minutes with minimal traffic, uh, very few junctions or entrances because we know when a car pulls out of an entrance without giving due consideration for a cyclist how that can interrupt the 
rhythm and the training that you're trying to do. So we've just taken an example here of the home counties around Henley on Thames, where you can find some lanes where you just gradually build up and basically the red is where you're in the red on your anaerobic workout pushing hard out of corners sprinting for trees sprinting if you can up hills pushing yourself for between sort of 40 and 60 seconds and then the blue is when you're just easing and warming down and then ready for the next jump and always try and jump out of the corners always try and imagine that you're closing a gap in a race and then enjoy the breather when you've done the high intensity effort as you just take the pressure off soft pedal as if you would if you'd caught a break or as if you'd then um, decided to just slipstream behind somebody else in a break or the bunch and you can obviously vary the routes that you follow this is another one where in this particular area you can see the points of effort and the points of rest that we follow and remember also to just have a look at when you finish you need to think of somewhere where you'll have a really big finish La Riva, if you're racing in Italy where there will be two levels of maximum effort and you, you'll be there with about 500 meters to go everyone will be going mad to try and get to the right position at the front and you'll need if you're going to win any sort of sprint to be able to counter people jumping away in that final kilometer and you're going to need to be ready to make three or four major efforts yourself counter the move and then ready to pounce and make your own sprinting effort with around 300 meters to go and if someone's gone already you're going to have to clearly get on their wheel and then come off that wheel with about 100 meters to go on absolute maximum power so you do all that in those final two chunks of effort and then obviously you need a kilometer warm down afterwards so i hope you found that useful just to recap you need to do road intervals we think on a on a hilly course you need to do two to four minutes of effort on the rises five to eight minutes of tempo on the flat or downhill but if you find this rolling 40 minute course we've just gone through you make two to three hundred meter efforts jumping for trees or signs you simulate race acceleration every time you're jumping out of a corner and then you make sure you rest with the soft pedaling for three to four hundred meters you do two times three hundred meter efforts for that evo at the end you really look forward to that the pain of that big finish because when you're racing that's where the truth will come out about how strong you are and then you do a minimum thousand meter warm down at the end if you want to have a look at this sprint training system, uh, again, it's a really good program talking about acceleration training, different um, in, information on meals and weights and gym, um, different interviews and coaching. And you can get the link to that. You can see that dld.bz forward slash sprint fast twitch, and that'll really help your muscular power. So remember, you need to keep variety and balance three interval sessions each. 14 days um, you shouldn't really push it any harder but you'll feel the benefit over the next 48 hours of the interval sessions that you've done so in your road training you do aerobic and you do intervals for anaerobic you combine it with yoga and indoor cross training and you use your home exercise bike for aerobic training for intervals again and for warming down so we really appreciate you joining us on elite cycling fitness and we hope that you will uh, enjoy all our other videos too. Keep in touch with us on EliteCyclingFitness.com.